we will pay him and insists UK will honour its debts to the EU in divorce bill row. The Chancellor, who is opposed to Britain's EU departure, said the government will, however, negotiate hard to minimise the so-called Brexit divorce bill. Speaking to the BBC's Andrew Marr, Mr Hammond also admitted Britain is running out of time to come to an agreement over the divorce settlement if trade negotiations are to start before Christmas. He said, the Prime Minister is clear that we will meet our obligations to the European Union. And, as you know, we want to make progress in discussions at the December Council of the European Union and the Europeans have asked us for more clarity on what we mean by meeting our obligations. When asked if Britain is running out of time to conclude the divorce settlement, Mr Hammond conceded, yes, the council is in three weeks. He, however, refused to put a number on how much the UK government is willing to put forward to the EU to start trade negotiations. Mr Hammond added, it's not about demands, it's about what is properly due from the UK to the European Union under international law, in accordance with the European treaties. We've always been clear that it won't be easy to work out that number, but whatever is due we will pay. We are a nation that honours our debts. Of course, we will negotiate hard where there is any question or doubt about whether an item is payable or not. Those debts that are clear of course, we will pay. In the same wide-ranging interview, Mr Hammond was also accused of being out of touch after he claimed there are no unemployed people. Outlining a case for why driverless cars will not put taxi or lorry drivers, Mr Hammond said, I remember 20 years ago we were worried about what was going to happen to the million shorthand typists in Britain as the personal computer took over. Well, nobody has a shorthand typist these days. Where are all these unemployed people? There are no unemployed people. The latest unemployment figures show the jobless count standing at 1.42 million between July and September this year. Labour shadow Chancellor John McDonnell instantly tweeted back in response to his Conservative counterpart. Mr McDonnell said, The Chancellor thinks there are no unemployed people in this country. Completely out of touch 